Too, too late, ER. Yeah, it is ER. Okay, so... Yeah. <laughs> Which Spielberg movie told the story of a childlike android who had the ability to love? Childlike android? Everyone hates this movie. Um... I can't remember. <laughs> I'm just throwing out here. JJ and Spawn. AI. Artificial intelligence. I've never heard of that. Or maybe the A means something else. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, it's artificial intelligence. Is That's what AI means. I'm blue. Okay, blue. You got ET. Oh, wait, no. You're blue. Yeah. I'm purple. And no, I got E. I'm and you got ER. Yeah. So awesome. you go to blue. Okay. Yeah, okay. We're good. Yeah, fucking two assholes <laughs> sitting here talking in my ear. <laughs> fucking trying to concentrate. <laughs> it could be worse, could be a bunch of dogs barking at you. Easy slash, though. Alright, um. Uh. Oh, here we go. This one should be easy. Uh. Yeah, yeah, this is easy. Animated animals is the category. TDC. Which star literally made an ass of himself in Shrek? The donkey? Yep, correct. Does it ask for character or ask actors? Well, either or is fine. Well, he could have said Eddie Murphy as Monkey. Same as I think. Next question. Uh, which SNL George Bush impersonator voiced the man in the yellow hat in Curious George? I don't know that. Chris. Will Ferrell. Correct. Chris Rock voices Marty the Zebra in this African... Madagascar. Correct. What kind of ring-tailed critter was Bruce Willis's RJ in Over the Hedge? Raccoon. Correct. You move to green, my lovely friend. As for... TDC... You move to orange. Moving out of orange. Actually, I did screw it up. I just counted it anyways. It, 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 it did say what star. Who gives a shit? But I, it, well, that means you shouldn't have got it, which means I should have got all four, technically. Okay. Which You're still in the lead. Oh, no. Relax. Which country almost ran out of cash, but at least it almost shares its name with a hit movie? Um, uh, Chicago. Country? Oh, oh, country. Well, don't uh, matter anyways, yeah. I fucked it up. Yeah, go Greece, find in your burning up the quarter of my Greece. Oh. Okay, name the James Bond movie with a country in its title. I don't know that one A James Bond movie that has a country in its yeah, title? It's the only one. Russia. Movie. Oh, the name of the yes. movie. Uh, from Russia with Love, I believe. Yep. Good job. In what film do four animals from a New York Zoo find themselves on on this island nation among a bunch of lemurs? The movie. Oh, would be Madagascar, would it? Well, that's the, that's also the country they land on. That's why it's called Madagascar. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, the name of which American actress is Germany when jumbled up? Repeat that. Which actress's name is Germany when jumbled up? Germany when jumbled up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know that one. Meg Ryan. Ah. Okay. Oh, we got it. Purple. And none, so... <laughs> I'm not far behind, but I'm getting there. You're getting there. You're you're riding on my ass, that's for sure. I was with weird tonight. Yeah, fucked up. Fucked up a lot. Well, you didn't fuck up. I just became better. Yeah. <laughs> um. Ooh. I got one here. Famous hats. No, down. Down. Really? Yeah. It is. Oh well. This is gonna be basically a bunch of. 
damn monster. We don't care about fun hats. What? Fun. But do you care about winning? <laughs> That's the question. Well, I'm fun behind. All right. All right. Who wrote the music for the 1968 film Yellow Submarine? TDC. I don't know. Chris. <laughs> Correct. With George Martin. But it asked for the Beatles mainly. Anyways. Who in the cartoon theme song does whatever a certain arachnid can? Read that again. <laughs> Who in the cartoon theme song does whatever a certain arachnid can? Spider pig. Spider pig. Does whatever a spider pig can. Or spider man. I don't even know what the question was. Read that again. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Who in the cartoon theme song does whatever a certain arachnid can? Spider-Man. Correct. <laughs> I, I swear, if you would have said The Simpsons, I would have lost my shit. Uh, Alright. The title of which 1990 comedy horror movie is also the word for the fear of a certain type of creepy crawler? Correct. Well, well, if they decided to call it that, well, whatever. All right, Chris, name the 1991 gangster film in which Warren Beatty portrayed Mr. Benjamin Sigel. Or Siegel. Uh. I do. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Fuck! What's the name of that movie? Oh God! I, my voice just cracked. <laughs> I'm just gonna say Dick Tracy. Bugsy. Actually, it's not what I fucking. <laughs> that's not what I had in mind. You get to move to blue. Ah. What the fuck is the name? I, Cause here I'm thinking of that one movie. It's about gangsters. That's Ray Liotta. The fuck is that? That's Ray Liotta. Yeah, Ray Liotta and Joe Pesci. Oh shit! Um, I actually own that. Um, The Goodfellas. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's what I was thinking of. All right. Oh, that's yours. Men without pants. The. Like, I don't know if y'all want to do nah, this one. Nah. I, don't, I don't. Sounds like me on a. Oh, uh, dinosaurs. Mm. Okay, this one should be easy for you two. Fine with me. Who has a pet dinosaur named Dino or Dino? I don't know that one. I don't really know. Fred Flintstone. Well, I can't really count it. It's the, the Flintstones. Oh, w what was the. Uh... Oh. Mm. oh. Shit. Yeah. Name the dinosaur who says sharing is caring. I don't know. That one I don't, dude. Barney. Yeah. And what in what 2008 film does Brandon Fraser and his companions encounter dinosaurs after falling through a volcanic vent? What? Repeat that, please. In 2008 film. Does Brandon Fraser and his companion? Cut oh, fuck you. <laughs> Companions encounter dinosaurs after falling through a volca <laughs> volcanic vent. I know it's wrong, but I want to say Jurassic Park. Right. Journey to the Center of the Earth. Ah. Uh, you ever and that. Jurassic Park: The Lost World. Which Southern California city gets smashed by a T Rex? What is it now? In Jurassic Park The Lost World, which Southern California city gets smashed by a T-Rex? I don't know, where? Los Angeles. San Diego. <laughs> no one moves. Wait, you do. Yeah, I do. Purple. Is that? Yeah. I still think that Flintstones one was bullshit. Yeah. The Flintstones. Actually, I would have said the Flintstones. Ah, uh, here's one. The other Simpsons. Oh my god. 
Oh hell no. Well, let me before you let me say it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said all hell. I think I would have got the O.J. Simpson one. <laughs> And I probably would have got Jessica Simpson, but that's about it. The other two, no. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. That's what I said. Oh, there we go. Much better. The Simpsons. Okay, let's try this one. The Simpsons. It's the only one that anyone cares about. <laughs> All right, TDC. How old is Bart Simpson in The Simpsons? 50s. Oh, the kid, right? Chris. It's 12. 10. Ten. But I'll give you credit since you were closer. Yeah. I'll send the damn dad. Because I highly doubt anybody would have got that spot on. Yeah. Uh, unless by luck. Or you watch the show every episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which has been on for 21 years and there's like 28 seasons. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. What is Lisa Simpson's middle name? Anne. Marie. Fuck. I'm not saying Renee. I'm gonna go with Anne. You, you had you had it, Marie. Marie. Fuck! <laughs> you should have stuck with Marie. Yeah. All right. Um, what type of dog is the family pet? Santa's little helper. TDC. Huh? What type of dog is the family pet? Santa's little helper. Fuck! I don't know. Chris. Correct. What does Bart Simpson have nine of? It's something that he carries on him every day. Every episode. I'll give you that hint. I honestly don't know. The spikes on his head. I would have never thought of that. <laughs> never asked. Which me one that? Oh, um, you get to move to blue. I never asked that question, you butthole. Butthole. You said I never noticed it, you sucker. Well, yeah. What? Would you have known it? The spikes? Yes, I would have known it. Dumb fuck. Oh, well. Oh, I skipped you. I'm sorry. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Dumb butthole. You're not really sorry. <laughs> nah. <laughs> kind of a drag on. Actually, that's crazy. Okay, which Shrek character falls in love with a dragon? Donkey. In a 2007 film, the legendary hero slays a dragon and the giant troll Grendel. No oh, yeah. seven movie. Yes. Uh. Good luck. How to Train Your Dragon. Yes. No, and I'll put it as he did when he slammed Grendel's arm and ripped it off, and he said, "I am Beowulf." And I spit on the cards. Um, and never watched the movie. Oh, maybe you watched uh, Beowulf? What's nope. wrong with you? Okay. On I, what, I, I wanted to. Uh, on what scheming royal series is Daenery known as Mother of Dragons? I don't know. That one either. Beat that? No. <laughs> on what scheming royal series is da Daenery known as Mother of Dragons? Maleficent? Game of Thrones. Oh. In Red Dragon, what kind of a deadly monster does Anthony Hopkins play? Wolf Red Dragon? It's a serial killer. Yeah. Fuck! <laughs> I did that. <laughs> yeah, but whatever. Nobody gets the points. Yeah, it's Hamble. Or, well, he, he gets yeah. one. For, yeah, for Donkey. He moves to one. For Donkey. For Jack Well, good. Look at that. You just moved like seven spaces. Good for you. Seven whole spaces. Yeah. All right. Sorry, mom. Let's see. How about? Uh, we'll do that one later. By the numbers. Um, no, I don't think that one might be a little too tricky. <laughs> Let's just do it. Ah, we'll go with it. Whatever. All right, TDC in Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman's Seven. What is the serial killer reenacting? Uh, what's more of a serial killer? What? What? What do you mean? What is the killer? Or 
what is the serial killer reenacting meaning what what is his uh, pattern of how he kills his victims you mean like a different movie he's like a different movie yeah no how does he kill his victims like what type of pattern I guess youngest daughter is hell. I don't fucking know. The seven deadly sins. Correct. Yeah. What the fuck that? <laughs> Thank God. That's why it's called seven? <laughs> Thank fucking God. Anyways, um, cops Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum go undercover in high school in this vintage TV. Twenty one Jump Street. Correct. Name director Catherine Bigelow's film about the killing of Osama bin Laden. Zero Dark Thirty. Correct. How are you doing? Um, what is the unlucky moon mission? Do I need to say more? Uh, thirteen. Or no, fuck. Is I'm gonna say thirteen. All right. Well, I'll I'll I'll, fin I'll finish it and then you come back to it if you want to. Um, what is the unlucky moon mission depicted in Ron Howard's 1995 docudrama? Apollo 13. Okay. Green? Yep. Yeah. Sorry. Tyler? I'm to fuck Actually, I rocked the whole car. <laughs> I like that. Exactly. It was actually annoying me with the seven thing. What do you mean? I was like, no It was annoying me, too. I was like, good. What is the powder he kills his victims? No shit. Have you seen, you've seen Seven, right? Yeah, I've seen Seven. Yeah, Seven's good. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah. What three words usually end a Looney Tunes cartoon? That's all, folks. God damn it. Nice. What epic war film ends with Colonel Kirk's whispering, The whore. The whore. I don't know that one. What is it? What epic war film ends with Colonel Kurtz whispering the whore? The whore! The whore! The whore! Um. He has no idea. Black Hawk Down? Apocalypse Now. Uh -huh. After being beaten and bloodied, who said, Yo, Adrian, we did it! We did it! Oh, that's a nice idea. <laughs> Rocky. Rocky, that's all you got. <laughs> Good night, Mary Ellen. Good night, Ben. Good night, Jason. Good night, Elizabeth. Oh, Was often heard at the end of which TV series? Oh, fuck it. Duh. Oh. Oh. Um. you? Good night, Mary Ellen. Good night, Ben. Good night, Jason. Good night, Elizabeth. Was often heard at the end of which TV series? I think I know. I know it too, but I forgot the title of it. Coming to you. I'm thinking here. The, uh. Bye. I, I knew it. I think I know it now. I, I, that one. I knew But you. I don't, I I don't think it matters. The Waltons. Hey, um, I moved up there, buddy. I, I did. I moved you. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah he moved us. Yeah, I moved both of you up. Yeah, you was Mr. Nice Really? Rocky? S seriously? <laughs> Probably because you say, I did it! I did it! Like it was like mentally handicapped or something. I did it like Rocky did it! Have you seen Rocky? That's exactly... No, I didn't do it! <laughs> it doesn't even sound right. Probably because half his mouth is fucking ripped off at the end of the fuck. <laughs> oh, no, God. I did it! I did it! I mean... God damn. It blew my mind. Uh, how about dance as the category? Oh, God. I'll say down. Uh, is it, is is the, it movies or shows or is it both? Uh, movies. Uh, okay, I'll go for it. Okay. Um, name the erotic Marlon Brando hit movie. TDC. Bias. Midnight Paris? Yeah. Close. Lost Tango in Paris. Yeah. Uh, uh, which 1987 movie about a teenager's romance with a dance instructor was the first to sell over a million copies on home video? 
ADC. I don't know. I mean, Dirty Dancing. Correct. Mundo. Martin Scorsese. Scorsese. Sorry. Scorsese. Corpina Calada, whatever the fuck his name is, <laughs> directed this rock documentary about the farewell concert appearance of the band. It's his numbers. Hey, shit. Uh, song remains the same. No. The last waltz. Uh, Name the most famous dancing couple in movie history. I don't know. I don't know. Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. Yeah. Okay, how, which one? You get purple, pink, purple. whatever the hell that is. Wow, well, look at that. How do you like that? So y'all gonna catch up eventually, or? Doubt it. It's all Greek to me. No. no. Yeah. <laughs> but the, I'll just pick here. We'll, we'll do one of these. All right. True Grit. Hey. Eh. All right. I like True Grit. It's a good movie. Both of them. What is the name of the U.S. Marshal who sets out to get the killer of Matty Ross's father? Oh, no. Forgot. Rooster Cogburn. I've never seen the name movie. You what? You've never seen True Grit? <sighs> Neither of them. No. Oh my god. Cogburn's unwelcome sidekick, LaBeouf, is employed by what law enforcement organization? FBI. U.S. Marshals? Texas Rangers. Oh, shit. How old was the young farm girl Maddie Ross when she hired Cogburn to find her father's killer? Yeah. What was it? How old, well, how old was Maddie Ross when she hired Cogburn? Oh. <clears throat> um... I want to say 24. 14. That's and, close. In the 2010 film version, what was Maddie bitten by that caused her to lose her arm? She got shot off, I guess. I don't know. Bitten what? by. Oh. When has a gun ever jumped up and bit somebody? <laughs> Sorry. But by baby bite somebody in the ass. <laughs> okay. It's good. Um, I'm trying to think what what could possibly be in around in the western days. I can think somebody. of a few things. And you guessed a gun. I you, you guessed a gun out of anything. Uh, I want to say an alligator. The rattlesnake. Oh, rattlesnake. Yes. Did not think of that. Of course I wouldn't. Get some of like the ones that we never use. Wait, did I get one of those? Ones? Well, I don't know. I've always pulled them from the front here. Let's see. Uh, no, that's wrong. Yeah. There's all kinds, you know, with the movies and the pictures and shit. So. Right. Give us something different for once. Uh, no, I no, none of y'all got any of those, right? Which really fucking. Depressing me because that movie's really I, good. I, I haven't watched it in a good while. Uh, Try to find something both of y'all might get. <laughs> you helping him? Are you trying to help him? Dr. Doolittle. Yeah, okay. I haven't seen it in a while, but... Dr. John Doolittle has a special gift of being able to communicate with whom? Animals. Correct. Dude. <laughs> After nearly being hit by his car, what animal calls Dr. Doolittle a bonehead? A dog. Correct. What stand-up comedian and former SNL member lends his voice to Dr. Doolittle's daughter's pet guinea pig? Hey, Murphy. No. Chris. 
I think it's Chris Rock. Correct. Doolittle's ability to communicate with feeding lines ironically leads doctors to run what <sighs> neurological test? It's a brain scan, right? Oh, the heart scan. The heart. Yeah. It literally says in the question, cat scan. Oh, cat cat scan. oh fuck me. Well, I move for it anyway, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah, you move. Um, pink. Pink. Pink purple pink right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now if I, okay, now that I'm at the end, I have to either get two in a row or a green to win. Right. But, uh, your turn. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna, let's see what we got. Helped out a little bit. <laughs> but what's it up? Okay. Aw, oh, y'all are fucked. <laughs> But I could easily get these. Of course. Okay. Name? Down boat. No. Really? It's the Tribbles, the Captain Kirk, and the Tribbles, and the... No. No. What's wrong with you no. all? Y'all don't know your track? I hate Star Trek. What the fuck's wrong with you? Never seen it. Well, you should. <laughs> okay. No, I don't like it. Hey, look, another Star Trek. Nope. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna get one, man. <laughs> uh, okay, here's a pot one. What long running TV medical drama featured doctors nicknamed McDreamy and McSteamy? You know her? Um. I just guess something. I'm, I'm guessing you don't know. You don't. I, I know. I know. I, even, is something hospital? Uh, Grey's Anatomy. Oh, even with oh. the shortage of food on TV's Lost, what portly character never lost an ounce? I haven't watched The Lost. Me neither. Oh, shit. That's over here I have. Um, repeat the question. Even with the shortage of food on Sawyer. TV. Sawyer. No, Hurley. Damn it! In the what 60s cartoon series did George Elroy Jane Judy have a flat screen TV a Ramba vacuum and phones with FaceTime. Alright, man. Yeah. Read it, please. In what 60s cartoon series did George L. Oh, Roy Jensen's. Jensen. Good job. What 2013 film focused on the man who wrote The Catcher in the Rye? What year? 2013. Hmm. You ain't gonna get it anyway. You've never even read The Catcher in the Rye. Yeah, I have. Partially. Partially? Yeah, partially. <laughs> yeah, the first freaking thing yeah. it says. Right, I'm just going to put that in. Yeah, I want yeah, uh, yeah. uh, I've, I've read like probably maybe okay. three chapters. Later. All right. Okay. I'm going to end this game. <laughs> we will see. I'm well, one. Okay. Alright, this one's easy. It, it just has to deal with numbers, basically. Fucking easy as hell. What are you doing? Oh, doing yoga, apparently. Alright, TDC. Which of these is a real telephone number? Wait, what? Which of these is a real telephone Oh, okay. It's either 30, 4, 300, 24, one two three, ninety, one, five five five, or nine one one. Nine one one. <laughs> right. Very awkward as hell. But okay. Anyways, which two of these numbers were relevant in the title of the movie starring Hugh Grant and Awfully Posh Charles as Awfully Posh Charles? Thirteen? What two numbers? Oh, one and five. Let me see the numbers. On the back. I mean, I no, the no those, those aren't oh, okay. relevant to the question. Uh, which two of these numbers were relevant in the... Oh, so you have to read me the numbers. Yeah, you have to read the numbers. 
didn't tell me that. Yeah, he kind of did. Oh, okay. Oh, well, uh, all right. Well, you can see them. Is that what it is? Yeah, which two of these numbers oh, okay. are um, relevant to a title of a movie? Sure. Back. You did. Yeah, yeah, it did. No, you 24 did. Watt and 4. They're, they're right here. No. It was like 1 and 4. Shit, he was right. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Um, okay, well, do you see? Which of these is a number of days that Monty Brewster had to spend 30 million in order to inherit, inherit 300 million? 300? How I many, what number of days? Oh, 30? Yeah. God damn! <laughs> well, alright. Which of these is a fictional number used in many American movies as a telephone prefix? Five, five, five. Fucking blew it out of the water. There is a god, apparently. <laughs> blew it out of the water. And he moves on space. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that's great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Star Trek ones is amazing. <laughs> Star Trek fucking Godfather. Yeah, there's like 900 Godfathers. Uh. Okay, first Godfather. I guess yeah. I can dig that. Yep. Tyler, mm -hmm. who was the head of the crime dynasty in the Godfather? Shit. Paul Patelli. Don Vito Corleone. Which of Don Vito Corleone's children took over as head of the Empire? I don't know. Lieutenant. Michael. <laughs> With which event does the first Godfather movie begin? A wedding, a funeral, a christening, or a birthday party? Oh, okay. A wedding? Yep. Damn it. What is the significance of the number 18 to the first movie? That's how people ask you. That's the body count. Son of a bitch. Including the horse, that's the body count. Son of a... How the fuck... I, to be honest, I... <laughs> there is a god somewhere. I love that movie, and even I wouldn't have figured that bullshit I out. I haven't seen the movie. Holy... Yeah, you have. No, I haven't. Yeah, you have. No, I there fucking was, haven't. They literally had a trilogy, and I was here one day, and you, we both watched it. You yeah. liar. I was awake, I was He was sleeping. No, he was awake. I remember it. So, uh, quit, quit, quit your belly aching. Oh shit. What's that? Uh. Oh. oh, this one's gonna be a kick in a walk. Somewhat like that. Alright. Uh, in a. Or, well, first off, it, the category is American States. Um, in a 2013 film, 